5.4 liter maintenance. Here we go again. So having a surgeon idle here lately and a little bit of a bucking at um, cruising speeds. So I'm trying to narrow it down here. And right now I'm going to clean the idle control valve back here and see if that doesn't fix the problem. Uh, I see these things are fairly cheap, um, somewhere around $20, $30, and they go up. I figured I would go ahead and try to clean it and see if I can't save some money by cleaning it and putting it back on and then giving it a test run. So let's finish getting this off here. So I've already broke it loose here. It has two 5 16 bolts holding it on. And then the pigtail back here, a little clip there to take off. Let me get that off real quick and I'll be right back. All right, there it is. Be careful with this gasket. It is pretty thin, easy to break. If you have another one, probably best to replace it. Hang on, I'll be right back and I'm gonna get some stuff to clean this out. Let's see if we can see down inside of it here. Yeah, it's fairly dirty down there. All right, guys. I uh, I pulled got the gasket off. I did not pull, did not yank. Don't tear this gasket. Uh, the gasket easily lifted off there. What I'm going to use on it. I'm not saying you got to do what I what I'm doing. Is some brake parts cleaner because that's what I have here. You probably should use carb cleaner. And then I was reading about spraying some W40 inside of it, and it helps somebody else's idle and kind of smooths it out a little bit. So I'm going to try that. This truck has always had a rougher idle, kind of searching for it. And maybe this, maybe this uh, sensor is bad, and I need to replace it. We will see, uh, but right now I'm going to try to clean it. This truck has 200, uh, shoot, 200, almost 40,000 miles on it. Uh, I think I said before it, it had a little bit more, and I just looked at it the other day. Anyways, uh, this truck has never let me down in the past five years that I've owned it. Uh, it's had a a relay go out on it uh, easy fix on that one but besides this this is really the m most uh, maintenance I've done on this truck is in this within this year so anyways let's let me get this cleaned up and what I'm gonna do is spray some uh, cleaner down in there use some q-tips kind of clean up in there and then put a little w-40 down there and then reinstall it All right, I sprayed it out and used a few Q-tips in here to clean inside of it out. Uh, I'm kind of satisfied with how much cleaner it looks. And now I'm going to let it dry out a little bit. Uh, see, before I reinstall it here. So give me a few seconds and be right back. All right, I'm going to reinstall this here. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed. I just put the gasket back on there. Put the bolts back through it. Set it into place here. Make sure that gasket stays in place. Alright, I'm going to need my second hand here. So, I'm going to set you down for a second. And we'll get this buttoned up. Alright, all buttoned up here. Uh, make sure your plug is plugged back in. Now, I do expect a little raise in the RPMs with the W40 being there, but I'm sure it's going to burn off real quick. So, let's give it a try. See all the way on. Let's see if we get the surgeon still. 
that's what I was mainly noticing it uh, when we had AC full blast and at an idle here it sit here then raise up 1200 RPMs drop back down and you probably did that I don't know every two three minutes right now it's looking pretty good it didn't even surge when I turned it on Miles here. 237,000. There you go. I think I maybe say it 240 something thousand in my on my last videos. This truck has been a workhorse. It's been to uh, many oil fields to service some some oil pumps and whatnot from the owner before me. Uh, he's he's gone off roading with it. I've pulled trailers in the past five years. Like I said, this is the major maintenance I've ever done on this truck is in this within this year. Um, last year, two years ago, I replaced the whole front end, uh, put all new, all new front end underneath it, put some new hubs in it, uh, servicing the transmission this year, to service the rear end. I changed the plugs in this thing. And man, look at that, it's it's awesome. It's not searching for it anymore. So hopefully that's what it was. Now if it comes back, it may be, it may end up being that, and I may just switch the part out. But right now, it's not doing it. Now I'll find out later if I'm cruising and it still wants to bug, hesitate. I don't have any loss in power, but it just seems like when I'm cruising, I'm barely touching the, the throttle that it wants to surge. And no, it's not reverse. The gear shifts off. It's something that's on my list to fix too. It hasn't really bothered me. I think there's two nuts or bolts in here. Anyways, that's an, that's another that's another video. We won't go to that. I'm gonna keep this one under 10 minutes here and good luck and try it. Uh, you don't have to do what I did, you can do it the other way. Just clean it with some brake cleaner, put it back together, or just buy another part, switch it out, and never have to worry about it, you know, for another 200,000 miles or whatever. But this is the way it looks like, the way I fixed it. Didn't cost me any money. A couple squirts of car, uh, brake cleaner, a couple Q-tips, and about a squirt, squirt in each hole for with W40, and it seems like working awesome now. All right, you guys have a good day.